G'day guys, John from JBR here and welcome to this week's Microtech Tech video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up the gear position display on your Microtech Pro Dash. To get it to work, you're going to need to fit one of these sensors to the side of your transmission. And how this works, it, as you cycle through each gear, um, this is connected to the linkage on the side of the gearbox and for each different gear position it sends a different voltage signal to the dash and we can then program the dash to recognize what each voltage means and convert that into a gear display or gear position for the automatic transmission. This sensor that I have here that's made by Dakota Digital it's the easiest one I've found to use and get set up it does come in a kit with a whole heap of other shit that you're not going to need. Comes with their electronic control box, some relays and wire and so forth. The only thing you're really going to need is the sensor itself and um, this little bag of nuts and bolts. It's got all the screws and brackets that you're going to need to um, mount that on the side of the gearbox. But otherwise, all the rest of the stuff can, can get chucked. Um, I don't know if you can buy these separately. If there's someone out there watching that knows someone who knows someone and you can get a hold of these without having to buy all the rest of the stuff, I'd love to hear from you, so uh, shoot me a message and let me know where I can get them. I ordered this one through Rocket Industries in Sydney. If you want to get yourself one, That's the part number that you need to ask for when you call up to order it. I'll post a link to this in the description below if you need that as well. The first step to getting all this to work is mounting this on the side of the transmission. And when you do mount it to the transmission, you want to spend as much time as you can getting it so you're utilising as much travel on this arm as possible. That gives you a wider voltage range to work with and if you spend more time getting it set up on the box then it will make life a lot easier when you go to calibrate it in the dash software later on. When it comes time to do the wiring, there's only three wires that need to be connected. Red and black is power and ground and the green wire is the signal wire that goes back to the dash. Because this is a 0 to 5 volt sensor you can get the power and ground from the 0 to 5 volt sensor outputs on the back of the dash which are these ones down here and the green signal wire it goes back to grey wire which is the position wire on the back of the dash as well if you don't have the diagram, I will put a link to that in the description on the video as well, so you can access that easy enough. Once you've got the sensor mounted and it's wired in as well, we can jump into the dash software and get it calibrated so it all works. Before you start, you're going to need to make sure you have version 2.6 or later firmware in the dash. You can check that firmware version when you fire the dash up it'll flash up on the screen on the main startup screen if you haven't got that version firmware you've got an earlier model one and you need to send it back to be updated there's a link in the description as well where you need to go to to send that back now the first thing we need to do once we're into the programming side of things is to select gear display so it displays on the screen and to do that we get in handset mode, touch the top left hand corner, go down to page one, and then scroll over to position six, main function equals kilometers per hour. We want to change that so it says kilometers an hour plus gear, which is function 10. Then if we go back to the dash, it will bring up the gear position in the main part of the screen. Then you need to get back into handset mode, top left hand corner again, and we'll arrow down to page 9, 
and page nine is the gear display setup screen. Now there's a couple of settings here in this page that need to be set up first before we start calibrating the sensor for the gears. The first one, we need to scroll all the way over to screen number 16. And we need to select input number 5 here. And what this does, it's telling the dash that the gear position sensor is wired into position number 5 or input number 5 which was the grey wire. Then from there we need to go back to the left to screen number 9 where it says delay and we need to put a value in this screen. I usually put 03 in here. Essentially what this setting does it sets a small delay from when the dash sees the voltage from the sender to when it actually displays the gear itself on the screen. As you're changing gears, the voltage is moving around with that. So by putting the delay in there, the dash needs to see the voltage reading settle just for a split second before it will bring the display up on the screen. The whole reason for that is just to make the display smoother so when you're looking at the screen the gears aren't jumping around all over the place it keeps it nice and smooth and steady. From there we need to arrow back to the left again to the filter volt screen. I usually put a value of around 0.14 of a volt in here Now the reason we need that filter volt setting is because in the real world when you change gears there's always a little bit of slack in the cable or backlash. The engine mounts, the transmission will move, the body of the car moves and flexes and the actual sender unit doesn't always go exactly back to the same spot every time. So if I use that 0.14 of a volt value as an example, when I drop it into gear if the voltage is within 0.14 of a volt of what I've calibrated that gear to be then it will still display the correct gear on the screen. Then once you've got a value in all those settings you should see a voltage value start flashing on the screen just here and when you see that you can then start to calibrate the voltage for each gear. On the auto I always like to start with the transmission in park and if I move the sensor all the way around to the stop, you'll see the voltage on the screen will change to 1.16 volts. Then to calibrate the signal for park, scroll across to screen 12, which is the park screen. Take a look here at what the voltage is saying, which is 1.16. And then all you need to do is input that voltage value up into the top. like that. Then all you need to do from here is repeat the same process for each particular gear. So from park, if we drop the transmission into reverse, we'll see the voltage here will change to 1.56. Input that 1.56 volt value up into the top right corner for reverse. Then next gear will be neutral which is 2.08 volts then depending on what transmission you have and what direction shift pattern you have it'll be either third gear or first gear next but the process to do all the three gears is exactly the same as what I've just explained with park reverse and neutral and then once you've gone ahead and put a voltage value in for first second and third gear if we go back to the display screen and we cycle through all the gears everything should work just like that thanks guys for watching I hope some of you learned something from this video if you haven't already subscribed to my channel do it and I'll see you all again soon